Right, morning everybody, hope we're all fit and well, no illness, no injuries, nothing we need to worry about. So we're going to set ourselves up as usual, standing nice and tall, drawing that tummy in, shoulders back, feet set under those hips, arms at your sides. As always, just wake up those senses with that little lean forward towards the toes and back to just before you think you're going to fall and just gently rocking that forwards and back. That's it. Finds that balance point, gets all those senses woken up. Do it a couple more times. And then find that spot now where you're nicely balanced, you're not feeling you're falling forwards or back. So it's hands onto hips or one hand in front behind. Then we're going to find that neutral spine just by tilting that pelvis under and then back. Just helps set that body up, get us in that right position, helps our posture. That's good. So teaches us to how to stand properly. Sounds daft, but sometimes we just start to slump and our spine curves as we're standing. So one more time. And then find that spot now, so we're nice and tall, we've got a neutral spine, we're nicely balanced, so we get our feet moving. We press that ball of the foot into the ground, pushing down through the foot. And those arms just join in, natural walking arms. That's it. We slowly increase that range of movement. As the arms change, one's pushing back a little more, as the other comes up a little higher. Bringing that up. We're probably up to about shoulder height now. Take that nice and high, letting them come up further or push back more. We start to open out those shoulders. A little stretch. That's it. Getting a really nice stretch now at the top. We start to take those a little wider as well. So we're opening out round that chest. That's good. Really press those arms back. Get that good stretch out. Couple more. The last one. And bringing that back down. Good. Standing nice and tall. With a good posture, we're going to raise those arms, open out, in and down. A big deep breath as we open and then blow it out as we come down. That's it. A couple more, we're just going to start to build this exercise. So we're going to start sweeping those arms around on the next one. So we're going to open out and sweep. The little bend of the knees as we come down. So we're opening out that chest, leaning back a little. So we'll lean back slightly as we sweep around. Good. We can start to dip down that little bit more. So we're coming closer to the floor. That's good. Nice and low now if we can. Really open out that chest. Sweep through as you stretch that upper back. Couple more. And back up. So standing high. Just going to start with those hands up to one corner. And we're going to sweep that round in a figure of it. So adding a little bit of rotation in now. So we let our eyes follow our hands. So we're not too fast. We don't want to be going dizzy. 
we're going to gradually start to dip a little lower. Make those circles bigger. That's it. Excellent. Good. We'll take one more each way. And bringing that back into centre. Give yourself a few seconds, that balance, to come back. We're going to take our feet a little wider now. So take those feet out, slightly angle the toes out. I'm just going to circle those hips. Just sweeping them around. You might find a little creaking and cracking in and around those hips and lower back. Perfectly normal as long as that's not painful. It's just those joints loosening up and easing out again. Those little pops are just like when you crack your knuckles or anything, it's just those little bubbles in the joint and the fluid in the joint. Do a couple more. And then let's change direction. We'll take that the other way. It. Keep that going, nice and steady, nice circle around, just like we're hula hooping. Here we go, a couple more, and bringing that back in. Okay, so I want you to stand nice and tall. I'm going to get that hip joint loosened down. So I'm going to raise that knee and then take it back as if you're going over a hurdle. Bring it forwards. Change legs, so hurdle back, bring it forward. Arms just wherever's comfortable for you. If you need a wider to help that balance, or just on your hips to keep them out of the way, whatever works for you. That's good. If you do struggle, with your hips, you can keep that as a basic leg sweep through if you need, or just keep a small movement. You can do a little circle round if you need. You're going to keep that lower. But for that good stretch and loosen, you can get them nice and high. That's good. One more each side. Bringing that back in. Excellent. Okay, so standing nice and tall with those feet still under our hips. Just going to squat that down, bring it back up. That's it, good. Squatting that down. Bending those knees, keeping them tracking forwards over our feet. Bum sticks out behind, keeping our head and chest up. That's it, really good. Nice and steady. Two more. And we're going to change it up a bit. Good, two more. And bringing that up. Okay, we're gonna take it into a little lunge now. So just a little back lunge. So just dipping that down. Take that as low as you feel comfortable. If that's knee to the floor, fantastic. If that's just a little dip. That's where you are at the moment, absolutely fine. We always work for our own levels. Good, a couple more. And we're going to add those two together. 
So I'm going to go into a squat. Lunge back one side. Squat. Lunge back the other side. So when we're ready, let's set that down. Lunge. Squat. And lunge. That's it. Excellent. Good, get the legs nicely warmed up. Keep it as strong. That's it. We'll do one more each leg. With a squat to finish. So one last leg, one squat, and bring that back up. Well done. Okay, if you're not at the end of your mat, if you want to move back towards the end of your yoga mat for using one, or if not, just have that bit of space in front of you. Standing tall, we're going to roll it down. Down towards those feet. We unroll, curl in that spine. Stack those vertebrae, bring it high. High. Right there. Excellent. Keep that going. Hopefully you find that you get a little bit lower each time you come down. There's that lower back and hamstrings warm up and loosen up. And if you do find this difficult on the lower back or the hamstrings, we can soften those knees as we go. But we want to be making sure we're curving that spine. So tuck the chin, roll the shoulders, curl it around, and then unroll as we come back up. Good, two more. Next time we go down, we've got hands on the mat. Hands to the mat, walk yourself out. We're going to drop into our kneeling box position. So that's our knees under hips, hands under shoulders. We're going to take it into that cat stretch. So I want you to press that spine up, dropping the head. And then rotate through. Lift that head, spine down, bum in the air. Again, press that spine upwards. Good, and through. Keeping that going, pressing up. Sit back on your heels, stretch out through those shoulders, the upper back, into that child's pose. Staying in your child's pose, I just want you to walk your hands round to one side. And then gently walk them through centre, round to the other side, stay down in that position. Back to centre, stretch it forwards as far as we can, stay in that position. And relax there, well done. Okay, I'm going to start off in a sort of kneeling position. 
So I want you to sit on your heels with your back nice and straight. So in that sitting position there, we're going to start, bring your hands up in front of your chest. We're going to do our sitting squat. So as we come up, we press those hands slightly back. Bring that body up to vertical. Sit that back down. So as we lift up, we'll squeeze the bones, we push those hips forwards. That's it. Excellent. Keeping that going. for our next one. So we're going to do our lean back. So we're going to start in the top position. Legs extended back, keeping a dead straight line from knee through to shoulder. Arms at your sides. We're just going to let that lean back. So holding it with our core, holding it with our thighs. A few seconds. Bring it back up. And back. Further you lean it back, the more pressure's onto those thighs and onto that core. Good, bring it up. So just keep doing that in your own time, holding for as long as you feel comfortable. And up. good. Straight line from knee right through to the top of the head. Good, we'll do two more. Excellent, one more time. And bringing that back up. Fantastic, well done. Okay, so you want to be in the centre of your mat now, sideways onto it, so it's lengthwise across. We're going to stay on our knees, I want you to put one hand to your temple, the other hand down towards the end of your mat, the leg extended, so we've got a straight line along the body. We're going to start, just a little leg lift, so let's just raise it up from the floor, not a huge movement. Centre, and on the other temple, drop it down, extend that leg out. Let's lift. side but this time instead of lifting straight up we're going to tap that toe forwards sweep it tap the toe back keeping a straight leg tapping it forwards and back so let's get that hand on the temple 
drop it down. So we're going to tap that tail forward, then back. So that toe's travelling in a big semicircle. That's it. One more, and bring that in, bring yourself to centre, switch over to the other side. Extend out, get in position, and then tap. One more, and you're bringing that in, well done. Okay, we're gonna take it down onto the mat now, so face down on the mat, arms up in that 90 degree position, legs extended straight behind. So we're gonna lift one arm and the opposite leg. So we're gonna lift right arm, left leg, Lower down and check. So it's a good second or so to lift. Pause, lower down. Lift, pause, and down. If you can keep your head slightly lifted in line with that spine, fantastic. But if you need to rest it down, not a problem. Right, so keeping that going. So we're working that postural chain. So we're working through the glutes into the lower back to raise the legs. Working round the shoulder as the arm lifts and moves back. So as you sit at a desk, you tend to get a rounded spine. This is gonna help bring those shoulders back, really help that posture when you're sitting at your desk. So a few more. Excellent, we'll take one more to each side. Last one, and rest that down. Well done. So I want you to stay laid down on the mat, but this time bring those arms forwards in front of you. We're gonna go into our swim movement. So we're gonna start with a little doggy paddle, paddling of the hands up and down. We'll do that for a few seconds. We'll rest the arms down, we'll go to our legs and with a little flutter kick of those feet, long straight legs, gentle little flutter kick. So arms first, let's raise and paddle. If you can keep that head and chest slightly lifted, amazing. If not, feel free to rest them down. Use a rolled up towel, a cushion, a jumper, whatever you've got to hand. Yoga block if you're well prepared. A few more seconds. And rest those arms down. Onto your legs. Press the hips into the ground. Legs off the ground. A little flutter kick of those feet.
good. And rest down. We're going back to the arms. So raise up, paddle those hands. It's only a small movement. Just those hands up and down, a few inches. Remember to keep breathing. Don't just grit the teeth and hold your breath. You need to keep breathing all the way through. Good, and rest that down. Back to those legs. Press the hips down. Raise those legs off the ground. Just that little flutter kick of the feet. A few more seconds, and then we're going to put it all together and resting down. So, we're going to put arms and legs together this time. So, picture yourself you know, in that hotel pool, you've got the swim up bar at the other side. We're making our way across, got that cocktail waiting for you. Off we go. That's it. Gently paddling across, slowly through that water. Good, keep it going. A few more seconds. And resting that down. Well done. Okay, I want you to bring yourself up into your kneeling position. So we're going to move back into that kneeling box. We're going to start with our basic Superman and then add a progression in. So those hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Let's extend long and straight and back. That's good. Sit up, take a little pressure off the wrists if you need, ease them out. So we're going to go back to the same exercise, but in between each one. So we're going to extend, then we're going to bring your elbow and knee together underneath, extend back out, down, and change. So it's that elbow to knee. So we're going to extend together, extend, and change. We go long. Together, long and chain. Keeping that body nice and straight all the way through. Try not to twist that spine at all. Keeping those shoulders and hips flat. That's good. on our side. So I want you to lay down, arm extended, 
extended under the head, but our knees bent up. So we're going to start with that clamshell movement. So we lay down, arm under your head, hand in front for support, knees bent. Lift those feet and knees off the floor if we can, but keep those hips stacked. And we're going to open that top knee. Raising that up. Checking those hips are still stacked, we haven't rolled back onto bum. If you do need to rest that bottom knee down and just lift and rotate that top knee, absolutely fine. Work to our own levels. Really good. Gonna do two more. One more. Resting down, bring the arm out to 90 degrees, hand on top, and we open up and sweep that around. Good, open, draw it around. Good. Again, you might find those shoulders just creak a little bit. I feel like they're grinding a little bit, shoulders get really tight. And as long as that's not painful, causing too much discomfort, that's just normal. Helps to ease them out, stretch them out. Good, two more. One more. Together. Excellent. Okay, moving over onto our backs now. Last few exercises. I want you to lay back with our feet up in tabletop. So with the backs on the mat, we've got that 90 knee bend at hip and at knee. When you point the hands to the ceiling, that's it. We just start with our toe tap. So we just going to pivot from the hip, tap one toe to the mat. So just tapping that down. That's it. Good. As soon as we've got that pattern, we add in 
the opposite arm. So opposite arm taps back. Keep a check on that lower back. If you feel that arch at the bottom of the spine increasing, just draw that stomach in. That'll roll the pelvis back. Just takes that arch back to his natural position. Keeps that core engaged. That's it, really good, nice and steady. Good, two more each side. One more each leg. And rest in that down. Okay, we're gonna stay laid back. I want you to raise one leg, pointing that foot up towards the ceiling ideally. But if your flexibility doesn't let you have that leg so high and it's there, not a problem. We're gonna start with our hands behind our head. And I want you to raise those hands, reach as far up your shin as you can, and then try and walk your fingers a little higher. And then slowly back down, lower back. So we raise to that shin, we walk up, walk down and back. Good. To a sitting position. So we're sitting up with our back straight, knees bent, hands forwards, and we're just gently going to roll that back, making sure we're curling that spine and gradually unrolling to that high seated position. Curl back, bring it up. That's good. Last exercise of the day. So let's just roll that spine, curl it back, bring it up, sit up straight. We make sure we roll that spine, we aim for that C shape as we go back and again as we come up. There we go. We're going to just change it up from our next one. As you go back, I want you to sweep one arm out wide, look at that hand, bring it back in, other side. So 
So we're not formally twisting, we're just taking that arm wide, look into the arm as it goes out. So it takes weight out to the side. Those different muscles have to come into play to stabilize us. We get very good at doing things in straight lines because we like moving in straight lines because it's easy. As soon as we go out to the sides and twist, it gets a bit harder. Good. We'll do two more each side. One more each side. That's the last one. Last exercise. And bring that back in. Fantastic. Well done. Slowly up to our feet. So we're standing tall. And if you did hear a loud crack then, that was both of my knees. So we'll take a little step back. Bending that front knee. Back leg straight, feet parallel. And then let's open up those shoulders. Reach forwards, pull those shoulder blades apart. Head down. That's good, relax that down, change legs. Get that knee bent, and then hands in the small of the back, press that chest forward, or reach back if you prefer that, if you find that more beneficial. Look to one side. So we turn that head, give that neck a little stretch out, bend the other way. Bring it back in, step. Up. Okay, I want you to pick up one foot. So we're just giving that thigh a little stretch now. So we're standing tall. That's it. And changing legs, draw that down, switch feet. takes us to our toes, let's sweep, bring it up onto those toes for three, two, one, and relax that down, well done everybody. 